Yading, a nature reserve in China, is one of the most enchanting places in the world. The first time I hiked a six-day core around these peaks, I fell in love. And this quickly became one of the places that first inspired my mission to explore, share, and protect China's nature. Hi, I'm Kyle Overman, nature contributor for the China Current, showing China's wild side. Three holy Tibetan peaks surround the central valley of Yading. Their pearly glaciers dance amongst the clouds, and each peak is a physical manifestation of important Tibetan Buddhist deities. The tallest is Chenrezig, compassion. Then there's Jampliang, wisdom, and China Dorje, power. These different symbolisms, combined with the majesty of the mountains and azure lakes that shimmer at their feet, create a truly awe-inspiring experience. There were times while hiking when my partner and I were simply forced to stop and wordlessly take in the nature around us. Similar to the earliest Western explorers who reached these places and why this region is thought to be the inspiration for the mythical Shangri-La. The area's abundance of species and cultural significance also makes it a globally recognized UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. It's home to 29 species of animals only found in China and other umbrella species such as leopards and Asian golden cats. Since I first visited in 2016, I've noticed the area has become more and more popular, both with Western hikers and young Chinese tourists. Although the region's high altitude and remote location provides a barrier for many travelers, more and more are coming. Will this change the area and the pristine feeling of these peaks? Maybe. A few years ago, plans to build a cable car up to one of the lakes at the foot of Chenrezig circulated across the Chinese internet, sparking discussion. Like how do we build better access to breathtaking nature like this without damaging the wildness around it? Many tourists enjoy the cable cars of the Swiss Alps without a second thought, but others in New Zealand may cringe at the idea. For now, plans to build one in Yading seem to be on hold. Regardless, Yading remains one of the most stunning wild places in China, where the presence of humans becomes small in the face of nature. I'm James Chow, host of The China Current. We thank you for walking on this journey with us. Keep following us there at The China Current.